Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. This is the last video of this belly dance practice outfit series, but definitely not the least. In this video, I'm excited to share with you how to make this cute and easy lace ruffle over skirt. It matches the wrap top and completes the outfit. Let's get started. To make this lace ruffle over skirt, you need pattern paper. Like you saw in the previous tutorials, this can be any leftover paper you have. Cut it to a rectangle that's 32 and a half centimeters or 13 inches tall and as wide as your fabric width. Stretch lace. If your fabric stretches from selvage to selvage, you'll need about 70 centimeters or 28 inches long stretch lace. If you use 150 centimeter or 59 inch wide fabric, you'll get long ruffles. If you use 100 centimeter or 39 inch wide fabric, you get shorter ruffles. If your fabric stretches lengthwise, then you need about one to one and a half meters. I'll explain more in detail when we cut the fabric. And matching color thread. First, measure your belt line. This is where you want the waistband of your overskirt to sit. Take your pattern paper and cut it into a rectangle that's 32 and a half centimeters or 13 inches tall and as wide as your fabric width. Fold it in half, make a crease and open it up. Now do a quick calculation. Take your belt line measurement and divide it by 4 and subtract 5 centimeters or 2 inches. Measure this number from the fold along the top edge and make a mark. Do this on both sides of the fold line. From the marks, draw vertical lines. On one of the lines, measure 2.5 cm or 1 inch from the top edge and make a mark. On the other line, measure 2.5 cm or 1 inch from the top edge again and make a mark. And from there, measure 20 cm or 8 inches and make a mark. From this 20 cm mark, draw a horizontal line to the edge of the paper. Now connect the end of this line to the 2.5 cm mark on the vertical line. And connect the other end of the line to the bottom of the other vertical line. And connect this corner of the paper and the 2.5 cm mark on this vertical line. Now around these two areas, smooth out the lines with nice curves. And cut out the pattern. Alright, the rest is easy. So take your stretch lace and first check the direction of stretch. If it stretches from the selvage edge to the selvage edge, you can use the whole width of the fabric. My fabric stretched this way, so I cut the fabric into a 70cm by 120cm rectangle. And the pattern I made earlier was based on this 120 centimeter width. Fold your fabric right sides together and place your pattern on top like this so the fabric stretches along the waistband of the overskirt. Cut according to the pattern and you have two panels. So let's sew your lace overskirt. First, take each panel and fold 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch from the top edge towards the wrong side and do a zigzag stitch along the edge of the fabric. Also, if you want to finish the raw edges, do so at this point. You have many options for this. You can fold the edge towards the wrong side and do a zigzag stitch, or you can sew on trimming along the edges. Or you can use a serger or leave the edges unfinished since the fabric doesn't fray. It's up to you. Then place the panels right sides together and do a narrow zigzag stitch about 2.5 cm down from the top edge. Turn it inside out and you have a pretty lace overskirt. It's a really easy project and it's actually a modified version of my 10 minute overskirt. If you want to try an overskirt that's even easier than this one, have a look at that. You'll find the link in the description. This version though has a little nicer finish and features this fun asymmetrical design. It goes perfectly with the matching wrap top and great for layering over the unitard outfit. Now you have a brand new belly dance practice outfit ready for your lessons. 
Make these items in different colors, prints, and textures, and soon you'll have a wardrobe with exciting lesson outfits to show off at your next class. Hope you like this lace overskirt tutorial and the practice outfit series. And if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And if you make your own practice outfit, share your creation in Sparkly Belly's Facebook group. It's such a great place to share your handmade costumes, get creative ideas, and ask questions. Join us at the link in the description. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!